time for the real, the real politics. What the uh, f is going on on Twitch with the React community? The real content that you're all here for. All right, as always, we always need to open um, the, 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 the Drama Mama segment with the Drama Mama theme song. So let us enjoy Dan Starlight's eternal classic, the Drama Mama theme song. lovely imps welcome to drama mama the part of the show where we investigate together a drama and when i say a drama i mean a pop culture or internet culture drama usually one that is particularly interesting but usually very confusing see the thing is on the internet there's all this kind of stuff coming at you at all times and it can be really hard to figure out what the hell actually happened so I've, i i came up with this cool idea called drama mama where what i would do is i'll go through and i'll get the receipts and we'll find out what it, what actually happened who was involved what actually what actually went down and we explain it together and then at the end i give you my takes about it now at the end of the day, this is a drama show, so I can only be so serious during a drama mama. However, I do generally try to be as impartial as possible in establishing the narrative of the drama, what actually happened. But of course, I simply uh, can't, uh, 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 you know, I, and won't, for that matter, not weigh in at the end. So the end portion, after we've figured everything out, is usually the portion in which I will provide my feelings and thoughts about the uh, about the drama. Now, uh, for those of you who are watching this now, and for those of you who are watching this in the future, because this is recorded live, uh, please consider liking and subscribing and commenting on the video and on all my videos because um, my content is awesome and you could be having a good time enjoying it and helping me grow. But also, welcome. Um, and uh, we are going to be talking today about the JXE Hassan beef and, and what is larger known as uh, React Gate. There's also some other interesting characters who have been tangentially involved in this, including a t tiny, tiny content creator by the name of Critical. Okay? Um, he's like, you may have never heard of him, but I'm telling you, his shit's good, okay? Um,. So, yeah, uh, there's a lot to talk about. On Friday, we actually watched one of, we actually reacted live to um, JXE's recent video. We will not be re-watching that video today. However, I will be referencing it and providing links to that video for people who are interested. Uh, on Friday, I reacted to the, to the video and then I said, damn, I think I actually need to do a Drama Mama video about this because I think there's some stuff that needs to be said and established. Um, and, and, uh, and yeah, so that's what we're here to do today. So one of the things that, that most categorizes this, um, this f f fucking extremely frustrating drama is the fact that, um, no one seems to know when anything actually happened. Okay, it's so annoying, especially one of the people involved in this. And so it took a lot of actual, uh, it took a lot of time uh, on, on Doe's part, who did the research for this particular drama mama, uh, to figure out exactly when everything was supposed to have happened because everybody kept saying the wrong information. And it was incredibly, uh, incredibly frustrating. So, uh, 
where do we want to start with this? I, I think I think we should probably start with the clip that started the drama, okay? And then we're going to work backwards from there. So I'm going to show you all the clip that actually started this drama, and then we'll work backwards, okay? Here. This is a video of Hassan. Some of you may know uh, who Hassan Picker is. He is a uh, very, very, very uh, popular um, uh, bathroom streamer, you know? Uh, he spends a lot of time in the bathroom. He has a, he was famous for having a brownout on stream um, and a couple of other things like that. Uh, he's very famous for that. Uh, and then this other guy over here is some is that nobody streamer I told you before, uh, Moist Critical, which honestly, weird name. But, uh, but hey, his content's banger. Y'all should check him out, okay? Uh, and, and, and we're just gonna watch this clip real quick before we get into the heart of this drama mama. So let's start this out with the clip that started it all, okay? Watch their videos ever again and I move on. This is what I said one fucking year ago. One year Since ago. Since then he made a video, or they made a video. Afterwards, they, uh, had like a bunch of fucking Nazis in the kill stream get together and do an eight hour reaction to my entire stream. Hmm. I think it was an eight or ten hour fucking podcast that they did on that Okay, and I apologized back then and they held on to the grudge and then they made another video now hmm. Another video a year later Sargon of Akkad joined multiple eight-hour streams If you expect me to think that that person is charitable at this point Six I don't know so what to tell you because it's not You're a fucking psycho if you think that that is a charitable person. No, that is a deranged person it's a five minute video, which I apologize for. It's incredibly petty. It's incredibly fucking petty. Watch their videos ever again. Now that's a bit of a doozy of a clip, isn't it? Uh, pff, wow, a lot of allegations there. Uh, I'm not going to watch the video. I will never watch the video. I will, this person is a psycho. Uh, they've been obsessed for a year. They had, they coordinated with the kill stream and Nazis to target Hassan and uh, and they worked with Sargon of Akkad. Now, that's a lot of claims, okay? And the sad part is that literally none of them are true. Literally none of the things that Hassan there said are true. And that's why I said we're going to have to do something a little special and work back from here. So let's start with the first claim. Uh, that this person, referring to JXE, uh, has been obsessed for over a year. Well, as it turns out, that is not true at all. In fact, it was on November 22nd of 2020 that this entire saga initially began, but did not actually become any sort of interreact. Because this, the video that started all of this was uploaded on November 22nd, 2020, which is called a video by JXE called The Most Bizarre House You've Ever Seen. Now, fun fact, one of the lost Demon Mama VODs is us actually doing a live tour of the same house. Uh, sometime, uh, sometime before or after, um, before or after Jay Exy did her video on it. And the, it was, the house is insane. It's, it's a, it's a demented labyrinth full of horror and nightmares and it's great. And uh, I didn't even know that Jay had ever done it. I'd never seen any other video. Somebody sent it to me and said, you got, oh, I think it was Grime Dango, uh, who some of you will, the regulars in the chat will know. Um, I did it a month before Jay. Wow, really? Damn, beat Jay to it. Ooh. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, we did like a live react, and it was really, really fun. Um, and really, really uh, wild. Thanks to Grime Dango for shouting that. I, d I do recall it was Grime Dango who sent it to me. Is the VOD up still somewhere? I don't know. We had a period of VODs that got lost on Twitch due to some stupid technicality. So we have to actually, I have to go look through my files, my old archive of files, and see if I actually saved it. If so, I'll re upload it. But it might be one of the lost VODs. It was 
fucking hilarious, and I'm still proud of it to this day. Um, so this was, uh, this was November 22, 2020. Uh, then, at some unknown point in the future, because we could not find the original stream, Hassan Piker reacted to the most bizarre house you've ever seen video. And then, at some point, slightly before July 23rd, JXE did a stream reacting to Hassan reacting to Jay's video. Do you see why this has gotten very, it gets very confusing? So keep in mind that this video is published on the 26th of July, okay? So when Hassan Piker says that this has been going on for over uh, a year, that's not true. The first reaction that Jay Exe ever even had to Hassan, which was a comedic, uh, a comedic react of a react, um, <laughs> was was done on July twenty third of twenty twenty one. Yeah, approximately like around five to six months. Okay. Now, Hassan reacted to a reacted to the reaction of the reaction to the video. And that's basically where the negativity started to begin. Because at first, Hassan's reaction was, uh, well, I don't give a shit. Um, I'll just never watch your videos again. I'm sorry. That's literally what, I mean, we watched, we can, I can bring this up real quick as a part of, uh, it, it, like, in fact, we're just going to look at it right here. This is a part of the video that we watched the other day, which is called right, which is right here. This is called Hassan Piker Jinx and the issue of reaction content. Let me see if I can find the initial, uh, critique here. Ha ha. Where was we that? Found oh, it. we were going to do drama. This was the, Got it. So Never mind. the original drama. I mean, this is like not that relevant to be honest. Yeah, I walk Let's away listen. while this video is going on. This is remember. This is from July twenty third, twenty twenty one. So this is this is Hassan reacting to a comedic reaction to his reaction to JXE's video. This is like nested madness that only happens on stream. Okay, just absurd. Imp and now I'm reacting to it. Actually, I'm not. I'm making a case, so I'm not actually reacting to this, but I do want to show you what I'm talking about, so you're going to have to enjoy the nested, horrifying nightmare of content before your eyes. Because I'm fucking, uh, what do you call it? I'm cooking and I'm eating, and uh, they didn't like my uh, react. They were like, react harder. Hassle, hassle, hassle. So, that seems... That... All it was was a reaction to a reaction. And, you know, let's finish this and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I guess they did one on Charlie too recently. You get yelled at for pausing and talking too much, then you get yelled at for not reacting hard enough. What are you supposed to do now? I mean, what, what the fuck do you mean? I, I'm literally going to do exactly what I've been doing, which is mm. whatever the fuck I want to do, bitch. What, what are you talking about? Dankies, hmm. dankies, dankies. Last times your content is react to weird videos? What? Wait, did he walk away? Wait, what the fuck? Why? Why? What? Why did they walk away? <laughs> Reacting to Hasanabi's original content that he worked really hard on and made all by himself? Okay, first of all, it's making mm. fun of you? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say. Because it's normal. I mean, look. It's normal to walk away uh, when you're fucking uh, alive for 10 hours. You know what I mean? Yeah. Within reason, yes. JC literally has to steal content to make their content. They've always been an annoying shitter. I mean, who cares? I saw the pin. Uh, I saw the pin comment. It says, 
Son, if you see this, I'm happy for you to react to my videos if proper credit Gay is- Gayfesh says- Gayfesh from chat says, Demon Mama, when you walk away, you have songs, or fawn, or doe. True, but I'm just built different. I'm- 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 I'm the- the first demon type streamer, so of course, of course, we- we have to- we keep the, you know, we keep the bar high here. It's given. What am However, I please don't just- dot dot dot. Let them play as filler, dot dot dot. Sitting there and saying very little, dot dot dot, and just having lunch, dot dot dot. Or leaving the room, like, come on, man. I'm fine with react content. It just requires a substantive or significant reaction. Proper Gosh, credit. Right. Now, this is important here. Because, keep in mind, that Jay's, the video that Hassan is reacting to, which is a reaction to a reaction to a reaction, etc, 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 was just a sort of comedic critique. It wasn't like a formal video. It was a stream of a reaction to a reaction. Very normal shit. And Jay's pinned comment is really, really simple. It just says, Hey, Hassan, if you see this, I'm happy for you to react to my videos if proper credit is given. Listen to those words. However, please don't just let them play as filler, sitting there and saying very little, and just having lunch, or leaving the room. Like, come on. I'm fine with React content. It just requires substan substantive or significant reaction or proper credit. That, right there, important. Keep note of that, imps. This is one of the me main important receipts, is not only did JXE start this all with what I consider to be a very reasonable critique, hey, please feel free to react to my content, but don't do it without crediting me. Don't do it without crediting me. And please don't do it without reacting to my content. Don't just steal my content, okay? These are- this seems pretty reasonable to me. I don't think that I have to, like, go very far to justify why you shouldn't do, like, plagiarism. Why you shouldn't steal content and never give any credit for it. That's just- you know, that's not- that's not, a, uh, yeah. Uh, so- so, we know Hassan saw this initial critique, and- we're going to hear how he responds to it here, and then we're going to see what happens and falls out from there. And we got a lot of receipts to go through, but I think it's important that we do this. And again, I just want to re restate the reason why I think it's important to go through these. Because Hassan's allegations against JXE are really, really hardcore. Like, really hardcore. Like, like Hassan accused JXE of being a stalker and... Uh, and of being a psycho and being a, a Nazi collaborator and of uh, of specifically organizing a Nazi podcast to critique him, it's really that's re that those are huge claims. And as you know, big claims require big evidence. And that's why we do the drama mama stuff. So I just wanted to make sure we're clear on what our objective is in trying to, to, to sort through this absolute mess of react nonsense. Here we go. Here we go. This is a key part right here. Is always correct. If the YouTuber says, why the fuck aren't you, uh, why the fuck aren't you like, uh, why the fuck are you watching my YouTube videos? Then they're right. Like, why am I? Hmm. You know what I mean? I think the YouTube crowd sees a higher proportion of YouTube clip channels that cover reacts than your normal content. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get to this is C tier drama. This just feels like Hassan wanted to not be streaming anymore, but didn't want to lose those uh, stream dollars. Like outside of the camera being on him, how is it any different than him just watching a YouTube video off stream? It just rubs me the wrong way. Like, how do you think of your viewers to just stream your break? Dude, what am I supposed to do? Die? Like, I don't understand. Yes, the two alt. Yes, Hassan, the two alternatives. Don't stream to an empty chair while watching a video that you haven't given credit to, or die, or die. Okay, that that might be, that might just be a little dramatic, a little little bit dramatic. Okay. Perish. He also hates fish, which is pretty racist, and honestly, he shouldn't be allowed to continue existing with an attitude like that. <laughs> They're complaining about him not uh, turning. Okay, to I fucking I fucking love, uh, I I fucking love Hassan's laugh. Hassan has the best laugh ever. I'll give him that. Actually, no, Vermin Hands has the best laugh ever, but but Hassan's is a second is a second place. Vermin has Vermin has the most infectious laugh of any person I've ever I've ever met. By the way, 
Vermin's laugh. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you, Vosh. Thank you for the expert, the expert opinion. Uh, Vermin's laugh is just, it, it is so infectious. But yes, Hassan is a, is a close second. Off the stream for five minutes while he takes a crap or whatever, it's which is delusional ages. and insane criticism that reeks of desperation to find anything to bitch about. You can leave a sign saying, gone for a dump back in five, or you just give credit where it's due and actually react while he's in the room. Okay, I really want to get a sign that says, gone for a dump back in five. I really want a sign, unironically. <laughs> Commenter, best idea ever. Fucking just a gone fishing sign that says, gone for a dump. Love it. I fucking love it. Doesn't seem like a lot to ask. Dumping burb. These motherfuckers are like, dude, answer. peanut bottle, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's totally what everyone's saying. That's totally what JXE said in the comment. So, the issue is people have when you're literally not there and still playing it. People prefer if you pause Three the video or just put on filler music when you literally walk away from the screen. Has. Just saying what I've seen on Twitter and Discord. Yeah, there is, and I've timed this already, there is a 15 minute sequence. What vid is this? What's up, Poke? Uh, There's a 15 minute sequence. I stream on average, I streamed on average 10 hours every single day last year. This year, I've lowered that to like eight hours. There is always in the middle of my day when my mom isn't there to cook the uh, chicken for me, a 15 minute sequence where I will rush over, throw the video up on my phone, okay? Okay. Um, um, hold on. I just got a weird text message. Uh, <laughs> okay. look, I'm not passing any judgment yet. I'm not passing any judgment, but that is the worst thing you could possibly do at this moment when you're trying to give an apology for going and taking a dump or whatever while letting somebody's video uncredited play this is the worst thing you could do just just the worst just the worst what the fuck best oh, community God. on twitch and glad to be a part of it hassle hold on one second mm. so um I throw it up on my on my phone okay I throw it up the YouTube video on my phone and I'm watching it I'm simulcasting it on my phone as it is uh, playing on the stream and if there's a moment that I want to like that I want to chime in I with something I will literally run back and fucking run back and and uh, uh put the fucking take there it's this that that is not that is not an argument in your favor I watch the video in the other room, and if I have a response, I might come back to my computer. Ah, <sighs> like I just, oh boy. No, ultimately Let's it doesn't matter. This. Ultimately it doesn't matter. If the, is the moment that it shifts away from free advertising and clout for the fucking content creator to like something that they don't want, is the moment that they decide they don't want this to happen. Now we're going to talk about that, okay? That claim is one we're going to revisit, the exposure claim. And in fact, in the newest video that JXE put out, in her newest video, the one we watched the other day that we can't watch on here, but we're going to re reference a couple times, Jay actually shows what the result of Hassan playing her video was. 200 fucking views. That's it. 200 views from a streamer that pulls... 24,000 live viewers and seven subs. That is so dreadful. That is so bad. And yeah, he calls it a fat bump, but 200 views is chump change. Even for me, a small creator, 200 views is like, okay, that's a little bit better, I guess. But like that, that we're going to talk about that more as it goes on. But just so that we're clear, Jay shows the analytics. So as you can see, this discourse touches on the video SAS versus streamer argument, which is fucking stupid, just so you all know, okay? I am a streamer.
I have a bias. I know how hard it is to be a streamer. It's pretty difficult. But guess what? I also went to film school, okay? So I also know how hard editing is. And that's the end of my conciliatoriness because it actually is really hard to do live streams. Um, and uh, you don't get to correct things. You can't You can't d take two takes, usually. You, you don't get to correct yourself. If you fuck up on a word, everybody makes fun of you forever. Your live chat will roast you for the rest of your life if you mispronounce one word. Like if I say magpie on stream, everybody will make fun of me for the rest of the for the rest of my life even though that is objectively the cuter way to pronounce the name of the bird. But but really, like this is kind of a stupid response, right? Like this comment here in this video to like not to not get off total stunlock. This comment that's being like, "Oh, well, it's too petty." And a Premier Pro Andes, like that's really silly. Honest question: Aren't YouTubers losing viewers because they're showing you're showing the video already? No. Yes. Or at least. Yes. Yes. Actually, yes. With many video types, this is just a fact. With many video types, if people see a video on stream, they will not go and watch it. And and you all know that we have a policy here in this in this community that when we react at the end of any react segment i will go tell you to go like comment etc and subscribe and the reason i do that is because i know that you guys probably aren't going to go watch the video that we just watched together and i want to make sure that the person that we reacted to gets some fucking credit for entertaining us now obviously my reactions as you could tell by my uh, by my face and and uh, and hand signs and everything, I tend to add a lot to my reactions. But nonetheless, I still think we should give to the person who provided us with, with, with the mana of heaven, okay? Charlie is one of them. His video on how reacting on Twitch with Twitch chat is a lot of fun for him, even if he shat on YouTube reactions. So here's, here's how this works, okay? It ultimately doesn't matter because... What matters is the IP owner, right? If they don't like that, then I'll stop. So they're correct. Their criticism, even if it's like react harder, is that might be a bullshit criticism, but like they're correct if, they say, if they're like, I don't want you to react to my videos. Because they're correct. It's their fucking video, Nine right? Months. So that's one. I, have thought we could I have always, always, always qualify this. Like I always mention this, right? They're correct if they say, I don't want you to watch my uh, YouTube videos. That was never said. Now, see, this is an important part to pay attention to. Once again, I know this has been a bit of a slow segment, a little bit of a slow start to the drama mama, but it's important to pay attention here. Jay never, ever, not even once, suggested that Hassan should not react to the video. Just that she would appreciate credit and an actual reaction. Not just, not, not an empty chair. That's it. That's all that was ever asked for. And I want that to be clear. Aren't you taking views away? No, most YouTubers don't mind that. Actually love that shit. When Twitch streamers react to their videos. Because they get a fucking work. fat bump. Best react Andy because when 40,000 people. There's the fat bump comment. People are watching alongside me. A YouTube video. There is a thousand of those people that are like. Well, I want to watch some of my own time. I want to watch other uh, uh, videos from that channel. I want to watch all this other shit. You know what I mean? That would be true if you credited the video creator if they knew where to go, if they weren't just not paying attention because you're not reacting and they've zoned out. That would be true, but it's not. That's usually how it works. And I know this from my own personal experience as well. As a... Jay's preferred uh, pronouns are she, they, by the way. Okay, sorry. I... Uh, I, I didn't know that, but I was, I was saying they just to be safe, but some commenters are writing, uh, using, uh, male pronouns. So, uh, don't do that anymore. Um, a good example of that bump is Austin Ox. I subscribe when he had 5k, he has like 11k now. Yeah, exactly. Imagine talking about a content creator who has 11k subscribers as if that's like a huge victory when you're sitting in the chat of somebody who has 24,000, here's the, here's the number right here, hold on, I'll move my camera, um, right over here, 24,000 live chatters, 
and being like, oh yeah, 11K YouTube subscribers is huge. Look at what you did, Hassan. Like, I'm not trying to be super sarcastic here. I don't want to be an asshole, but that chatter is just so out of left field. Also true, so, Vosh. People, uh, people share it with their friends and da da da. I think they, I think they agree, but you didn't say their name. Yeah, I didn't know who who this person was, but you can, <laughs> dude. You played their fucking fifteen minute video while you were in the other room. What do you mean? Come on. You see what the fucking title of the video is, like, you know what I mean? When no, I you you hover can't. Over it and, shit. and okay, this is another point. Actually. It's very hard to see the title of the video in the original reaction. You can go back and watch Hassan's VOD. We could do it right now. Watch. We can go back and we can watch Hassan's original reaction. Watch this, okay? We're going to we're going to see if that's true in real time. I'm even going to hide my chat for a second so we can see if this claim is true in real time. Okay? Watch. Ready? Blue Lick Road is a three-bedroom house that you can go on a 3D virtual tour of right now if you're interested in purchasing it. And it's, uh, you know, they say you don't really know someone until you've uh, held hands while what taking a dump. This digital fuck? property viewing is one of those things where the longer you stare at the image, the more bizarre things you notice. So today I'm going to take you on a sightseeing tour of the- So there you go. That was it. Now it is full screen now. So for approximately 15 to 30 seconds, you can see the title of the video, and down in the corner behind the play button, you can see JXE's name. Do you see this down where my mouse is, down here in the corner? Uh, I hope you can see. Mo follow my mouse, everybody. That's where you can see JXE's credit and the title of the video before Hassan puts it full screen. So, not to be insufferable, but this is Drama Mama, and we are doing the check, the fact check. We're doing the receipts. Turns out, actually, you can't. Okay? Let's re reanalyze and see where we're at here. Because um, it's easy to get lost in, in, in all of this nonsense. And I just want to make sure that we're all on the same fucking page here. Okay? Are, you, are we ready here? Look, let's watch this again. This is a little, th what, 30-second clip? This is nothing. 50-second clip. Let's watch it again. Here we go. Ready? So, we just watched... The ancient apology from Hassan. We just reacted to the... We, we, that was not out of context. We went and watched the whole segment. Minus like a little bit at the end where he was rambling to his chat. Let's go. Watch their videos ever again and I move on. This is what I said one fucking year ago. Six months. Since then he made a video or they made a video. Afterwards, they uh, had like a bunch of fucking Nazis in the kill stream get together and do an eight hour reaction to my entire stream. I think it was an eight or 10 hour fucking podcast that they did on that. Okay. And I apologize back then. Did you all hear an apology back then? We went and watched that. Did all of you hear, did anybody hear an apology in that original video? Cause I heard a, well, you don't want me to watch your videos. Fuck you, I'm gonna do what I want. In fact, I think I heard, I don't give a shit, I'm gonna do what I want, multiple times. And that makes me go, dude, what the fuck, man? And they held on to the grudge. And then they made another video now. Another video a year later. Sargon of Akkad joined. Multiple eight-hour streams. If you expect me oh, to think oops, that that person sorry. is charitable at back. this point, months, I don't know what to tell you because it's not. You're a fucking psycho if you think that that is a charitable person. No, that is a deranged person. Hmm. It's a five minute video, which I apologize for. It's incredibly petty. It's incredibly fucking petty. Watch their video. Okay, so again, now let's just go, let's just be clear again. I wanna make sure we're clear. I don't wanna say anything wrong. I wanna be clear as possible. We've now shown that no, actually, Hassan didn't meaningfully apologize for that. In fact, Hassan mostly said, I don't give a shit. Uh, fuck you, I won't watch your videos anymore. And then, also, it wasn't a five-minute video. It was a hour-long video, which Hassan reacted to a significant portion of and was away from stream for a significant portion of it, okay? 
Um, not a five-minute video, as Hassan claimed. And now we also need to talk about the other claims because this is where it gets uh, a little bit comp a little bit more complicated, right? So now we're going to move on to the claims about the Nazi stuff. You know, um, let's let's talk about the the the, the claims about the Nazi thing. Um, oh, oh, okay. So sorry, sorry about that. He was referring to the 14-minute house tour. Yes, but. That's not a five minute video. He was off by he was off by two thirds. Okay. So Hassan claims that the kill stream did uh, a uh, did did a video with uh, Jay Exe. Now, while I cannot be a hundred percent sure that uh, such a stream never or like ever occurred, I can't be a hundred percent sure that there isn't somewhere out there a deleted kill stream eight hour reaction. I have been completely unable to find that. Uh, as far as I can tell, JXE has literally never uh, meaningfully interacted with the kill stream at all. And I don't know where this claim came from, except via a just complete and utter conflation of two separate groups of people. Because JXE did have a conversation with EFAP. Now, you might be going, what the hell is this kill stream? What the hell is EFAP? Well, the kill stream is a far right, uh, I would argue they are a Nazi podcast uh, 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 that has. Um... Now, there's probably going to be some pushback. Some people are probably going to say, some people are going to say, they're not Nazis. Only one of them is a Nazi. But it's a political podcast. And one of the main people is a Nazi and never receives pushback. Okay, it's it's a pretty bad show. All right, I got, I don't got good feelings about the kill stream here. Okay. However, EFAP is not the kill stream. EFAP is called uh, Every Frame a Pause is the name of this show. I'm gonna show you their channel real quick. Okay, Every Frame a Pause. Now this is done by a guy named Mahler, okay? And here's the, the like, branding you can expect from EFAP. Every frame a pause. They do extremely long form reacts, such as how The Last Jedi defies expectations, let's talk about Thanos. And they're sort of known, I mean, they're not like a, a huge channel, but they're pretty big, 98.2K. Um, and they're kind of well known for doing these ridiculously long reacts where they watch a movie together and they pause constantly. Um, and, and like, will just, again, that's why they call it every frame of pause. Um, the guy who's in charge of the kill stream was the one who got drunk and tried to dox Vermin and Vosh. Yes, that's correct. Um, Yeah. Uh, and, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're shitheads. Okay. So now, now EFAP. So EFAP is what I think is what Hassan was thinking of. He said the kill stream, which he said was a Nazi podcast. And I think what he meant was EFAP because JXE has indeed done, uh, some reacts with, uh, EFAP. Now, I don't mean anything extensive. I believe they had a, a like, a small conversation, and then also, uh, actually, I can verify this for you real quick. Um, let me just see. I think we've got this actually in the document right now. So, we have a, uh, yeah, here we go. So, there's two videos that feature or talk about JXE on EFAP. This video, which does not actually have JXE in it, it was from six months ago. It's called Hassan Piker versus JXE. Okay. Sorry, what's that? The like creator associates. Yeah, they've they've talked a couple times. You can see here there's a there's a couple of times that that like JXE has talked with them. They don't seem to have any major problems. Um, and in this episode, JXE goes on to talk about YouTube and mentions a couple other things. Both of these happened six months ago. Okay, so I think what to be charitable to Hassan, 
I don't think, I think he meant EFAP when he was talking about the kill stream. But that's a big fuck up to make and not issue a correction. And to my knowledge and to my abilities to find it, Hassan has not issued a correction. So there's another thing we have to answer, obviously. Is EFAP a Nazi podcast? And I think the answer to that is no. Okay? And I'm going to try and explain that. So, <clears throat> now, Mahler, the person who is the main host of, of EFAP, is indeed uh, what I would consider to be reactionary. And Rags, one of the members who are uh, regulars on EFAP, is extremely reactionary. However, they don't actually, like, like, politics isn't their main thing. They talk about movies. And yeah, they comment on politics. They do seven-hour streams. But they mostly focus on movies. They don't do, like, political react content. They're movie reactors. So, the Kill Stream is a political blood sports uh, podcast that regularly gets involved in fights with, with, uh, with, with left-leaning content creators and a whole bunch of other terrible shit. The kill stream is really fucked, okay? EFAP is a movie reaction podcast with two, uh, uh, with at least two reactionary members. I don't think it's fair to call EFAP a Nazi podcast. I just, I don't think that's fair. You feel like I'm being too charitable to Jay here? Well, I don't know in what way. Because here's the thing. Actually, no, you know what? I am being charitable to Jay here. But the reason being is that Hassan is enormous and made extreme claims about Jay. Jay did not make extreme claims about Hassan. And in fact, only really like, sort of playfully made fun of Hassan and then asked Hassan to please credit her. So, maybe I am being a little bit charitable. Maybe. To Jay. However, I think the situation justifies it so far. Because Jay did not make large claims about Hassan, but Hassan did make large c claims about, uh, about, uh, Jay. They associate with EFAP a lot. Here's a list of their stream appearances. Okay, let's take a look. Streams, I'm in. Okay, let's take a look. Okay. EFAP. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it looks like they've been in with e like 10, 11. They've, they've gone on EFAP quite a lot. Okay. Why the? I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I just feel like, I feel like I can't come away from this and conclude like this is a Nazi podcast. So Jay is friends with a couple of chuddy assholes. That is probably, that's probably, there's probably room, um, uh, 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 like, uh, there's probably room to criticize Jay for being friends with, uh, with, with EFAP. I think there's room, but I don't think that's the same thing as collaborating with a Nazi podcast. And also, keep in mind that, like, I mean, do I need to watch this again? Do I need to watch this again? That the original quote that Hassan said was that Jay coordinated a Nazi pot, an eight hour Nazi podcast. Do I need to watch that again? Like, that was the allegation. The allegation was that Jay coordinated the kill stream, a Nazi podcast, to do an eight hour react. I think that's a lie. I think that's really, really a lie. I think that's just not correct. Sorry, I just don't think that's correct. I think that's ab absurd. So, uh, it seems... So, to, to put this p particular claim to rest, no, I don't think it's fair to call EFAP a Nazi podcast, and it was absolutely factually incorrect to accuse Jay of organizing an eight-hour Killstream podcast because that just didn't happen. Okay? So... Now, everything goes quiet. You know, in the timeline, there's a long period of quiet between uh, 
some of these the like the like reaction to the reaction and then we get to now we get to the first of february or we're like almost now okay the first of february of this year so just a couple of you know fucking what 16 days ago 15 days ago okay beginning of the month is where um is where this all started. Now we watched this video on stream. This is a video by Jay Exy, which I think is a strong video and I highly recommend everyone here check it out. I'm gonna drop the link in chat. It's a good video. I think it stands on its own. I, we're not gonna watch the whole thing, but it's a video right here called Hassan Piker, Jinx, and the issue of reaction content. It's an hour, uh, it's about an hour long video. I think it's very good. And also, it's basically your typical video essay fair. It's not even really a, 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 a particular call out. It's like, yes, it is titled Hassan Piker Jinx and the issue of reaction content. And yes, I think that jo uh, that JXE, I think she, she makes fun of Hassan a little bit. But I, I don't think it's particularly mean spirited. She doesn't say she doesn't call Hassan an idiot. She doesn't accuse Hassan of being bad. She's just more or less frustrated that his response to a very, originally a very measured critique was to say, fuck you, I don't care. And also to talk about a bigger issue with reaction content. And this is where things start to get a little bit complicated. Okay? As if it wasn't complicated enough. Because... It turns out that this this video and a number of other things ended up uh, ended up triggering a a big drama, a really big drama. Okay, and uh, so JXE's video ended up getting watched by Critical, ended up getting watched by uh, a couple of people. In fact, <laughs> I want to show this. I want to show this because this is so funny. I want to show. I want to show you something great. Okay. This is, this is something I find really, really, uh, funny. Okay. So here's, here's JXE's secondary channel. Okay. Here's JXE's second channel. And, uh, <laughs> let me see. Where's the, where's the videos in a row? I think they're down. Uh, no, it's one month ago. So it would have been, it's right here. This is a series of videos. I love these titles. Reviewing Moist Critical's reaction to my video. So here's a review of a reaction. Second one, watching Ah Relevant absolutely seethe over my Hassan video, which let's be real, okay? Ah Relevant, all he's got is seethe, and that just makes me laugh because it's ama it's so wonderful to me when people outside of these political spaces run into one of the deranged people in these political spaces, and like, like Ah Relevant. I don't think our relevant realizes that literally no one except for DGG can watch his content. Anyway, so it goes like this. The videos here is like reviewing Moist Critical's reaction to my video, watching our relevant absolutely seethe, uh, and then I reviewed Denim's complaints. And um, do watch these videos. I have not watched all of these reactions, but as I understand it, um, the the uh uh. The, the 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 moist critical one has critiques for Jay and Jay responds quite well to them as I understand it. Then, of course, Jay makes fun of our relevant because our relevant cannot be reasoned with. Our relevant does not like engage in actual like conversation. He's just a a a, a, a sort of a robot that ought, that like sort of spits out pre-printed destiny lines and then gets really angry about stuff. Uh, and then Denim's, uh, and then Jay also reacts to Denim's video, um, and apparently Denim's is critical, but relatively supportive. So, yeah. Um, so yes. So, but, but, this is, this was all a little bit of a sidestep, and the real thing that I wanted to bring up here is that the reaction to Jay Exe's video titled Hassan Piker Jinx and the Issue of Reaction Content reached all over the place. I mean, critical is huge, everybody. Critical reacting to that means that it's guaranteed to at least make a blip on the radar of internet discourse. And it did. But unfortunately, 
Um, this triggered some other things, and this is where we take a small sidestep out of the Hassan and JXE conflict, and we take a step into some, um, hmm, some really unhinged stuff. This is where it gets, uh, it gets very, very, oh, I think I, oh, I have it here. That's right. I needed to transfer this over. Give me just a second. I got to get this link. This is where it gets a little, uh, let's say unhinged. Okay. Uh, whew. Okay. Here we go. This is a document that was published following, uh, following JXE's video called How the React Grift Works by Dark Viper AU. So, for those of you who uh, who don't know, Dark Viper AU is a huge channel. 941,000 subscribers on the primary channel. 500,000 on the secondary channel. Like, just... Wow. Like, a big channel. And Dark Viper had a lot of... A lot of extreme statements. Let's review some of his comments. Now, some of these are going to be a little bit more measured, while others are certainly not, okay? Creating actual content takes time, energy, and creativity. If you do it all yourself, you will quickly get tired, burn out, or run out of ideas. The exploiter class... XQC, Hassan, Pokimane, Critical, etc. will use this unpaid labor to avoid the expense and therefore draw maximum viewers and revenue from actual creators. They will, of course, then upload this stolen content to their YouTube channels as well as to further maximize profits that would otherwise, again, go to actual content creators. Um... You might say, but I've heard of X content creator who is fine with reactions. What you're ultimately asking is why do people participate in react capitalism even if they hate it? The answer is that everyone in the content creator marketplace is affected by react content, regardless of whether or not they give up their content to their overlords. Oh boy. So, do you see what I'm talking about about this? This piece? Even if you say no one is allowed to react to my content, you are still losing the same way as we all are, as reactors will just move to the next person's unpaid labor with no consequences to their profit. The idea of reactors being benevolent overlords seeking out poor downtrodden content creators to give exposure to is, of course, a convenient lie. Ignoring that the absence of exist the absent the existence of react content, more exposure would be going to original content, big and small. Reactors do not also do not seek out tiny content creators who can't catch a break. So there's a lot of claims. Now, so, again, some of these claims are reasonable. It is true that people put a lot of work into their artistic creations. But I think perhaps calling React streamers overlords and the exploiter class might just be a little bit hyperbolic. But unfortunately... It doesn't stop there. Here you go. Let me show you how how far how stupid this gets, okay? Cuz it does get stupid. I'm going to just be honest about that. Now we come to the issue of consent. Oh boy. While reactors dismiss the idea of paying workers for their labor or giving them a say over who can profit from it, they will also attack the idea of informed consent as a concept. Stating that they will steal as much of a person's labor as they desire before the person finds out and tells them to stop. In other words, if you feel pressured to not cause a fuss about someone stealing your content, perhaps due to fearing the powerful reactors and their audience will threaten your livelihood with backlash, or if you are not knowledge enough, knowledgeable enough to say no, you don't know another person is out there exploiting your labor, or if you physically can't say no, maybe because a reactor has spiked your drink at a party, a reactor believes they can do whatever they want to you. 
Consent to reactors means they can do whatever they want to you unless you have explicitly told them no. Going to a party with a reactor must be a scary thing. Besides, a person is unironically saying that all other content creators should contact them personally to tell them whether or not they can steal their labor is the most egotistical thing ever. Like literally, the world re revolves around me kind of thing. If, as if all content creators have an obligation to watch every one of a reactor streams in case their content happens to be stolen that way. Rape comparisons? For react content? I feel perhaps that might be a little extreme. So you might be wondering why the hell does this matter? And the reason is that this was a response that was directly responding in in support of JXE's video. But keep in mind that JXE did not make any of these arguments. This doc was written by Dark Viper AU. So JXE never said any, sim not even similar arguments to Dark Viper. Dark Viper who said that reactors are like rapists and that you should not trust any react streamer at a party because they will probably rape you. That is, that is what was said here. I'm sorry, can I read that? Do I, should I read that again? Going to a party with a reactor must be a scary thing. If you physically can't say no because a reactor has spiked your drink. Like, were there, are there slavery? Oh, uh, oh, it's just a, it's like a slavery was, was legal once. It, it's a, it's a slavery reference. It's not accusation, I don't think. Just because slavery was once legal didn't make it good, and certainly even if this labor exploitation was legal, it still wouldn't make it any less exploitative or something that should be tolerated. So, okay. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, the internet has this thing, okay? There's a problem on the internet where... Uh, I wish I could believe you, Vosh, but at the same time, this is, this is like four, this is multiple pages into a 14-page document talking about the overlords of React. So maybe they were taking the piss, but they seemed very angry about it, and just so you know, just so we're in the clear, they've been beefing with Critical over this for quite a while. Like, they've made like quite a few beef videos, so it's like, I don't know. I'm not sure who Moist Critical said. Hi, Charlie. Nice to meet you. Yeah, uh, more React content drama. So they've, they've been involved in, in a lot of this. And they seem pretty serious about it. So I don't know. It's I kind of just got to take them at their word and say that they probably think that, uh, you know, that they're like, uh, I don't know. I guess they I guess they think that they're that reactors are rapists or something. I don't know. It just seems very hyperbolic. And it has resulted in a lot of trouble specifically for um specifically for uh JXE and that's because of internet smushiness okay on the internet there's so many people talking so many it gets real easy to mix things up and for the average user this is not that big of a deal because you know maybe you make a small mistake and you misremember something and you say to your best bud Remember that time when Demon Mama murdered a seal in Ottawa? And then your friend goes, I don't remember that. And you go, yo, yeah, that totally happened. And then your friend goes, okay, and shrugs. And then it just ends there. But Hassan is not just talking to his friend. Hassan and other uh, and other reactors, for example, or other, uh, sorry, yeah, other reactors or other people reacting to this drama aren't just talking to their friend they're talking to massive audiences internet inter internet mush brain where you like slightly misremember things is not a big deal when you're talking to your buddies and friends but if you're if you internet mush brain to like 25,000 people that just becomes misinformation or worse disinformation and so to a certain degree, I can forgive Hassan from being for being like you know frustrated and perhaps getting a little bit of internet mush brain about the uh, about the kill stream and stuff like that. But 
I think there's more than just mush brain going on here because I think that like in reacting to this, what was in Hassan's mind, and I don't want to armchair psychologist or pretend that I'm in his head because I'm not. I think he was mushing some of this like Dark Viper AU drama, the moist critical because criticals his, you know, he does content with critical. I think he was mushing these things together, but unfortunately his brain mush, if if we're being charitable, the brain mush has resulted in JXE being conflated with Dark Viper and other people, even though JXE didn't say any of those things. And honestly, that really sucks. But unfortunately, that's not the end of it either. Let's continue. So here's where it, it starts to get a little bit. It goes to Twitter. And on Twitter... Uh, there's a lot of, there's like quite a lot of stuff that, that actually like, uh, that actually like, uh, like, like goes, goes, goes on. And Jay starts to talk about this on Twitter. And of course, every single time, you know, things go to Twitter, it gets messier. So here we go here. Yep. Literally just all overtly false claims that I have to deal with 40,000 people believing about me now because their daddy Hassan said it was true. Thanks, man. I really appreciate how maturely you've handled being called out for not giving credit. And actually, let's be real. I want to, I think, I think JXE was actually being a little bit overly friendly there or overly kind. This video has almost 500,000 views now. Just so that we're here, I want to make sure you all can see that. This video has almost 500,000 views. So it's more than just 40,000 people who got that, that brain mush misinformation. It's 500,000 people. What side did Critical take? Uh, Critical was pretty measured. Uh, as far as I understand it, Critical was like, yeah, actually, you know, I can understand where you're coming from. You know, React content is pretty great, but, you know, people should be transformative with it. M you know, maybe I don't agree. Like, as I... Now, again, I didn't watch this. This is me getting a summary from uh, from some, from Doe who checked out the Moist Critical video. But as I understand it, like, Critical was basically like, yeah, some people are shitty with their React content. That doesn't mean all React content is bad, but some people are shitty with it. As far as I understand, it was pretty, uh, pretty, um, uh, measured. Um, and, and, uh, and so that's good. Thankfully. And, and, and Jay's response to critical was positive. So to me, that indicates that there's like some rapport being built up there. And that's, that's a great thing because, uh, honestly, I think that Jay's video was super measured and really, really fair. Um, again, I, I said that before, but I'm going to say it again because, um, yeah. Um, but, but let's get back to the thread here. Okay. So this is when Jay addresses it on Twitter. I love how he corrects my pronoun from he to they before saying this Nazi shit about me. Does he think I'm a they, them Nazi? Unfortunately, they do exist. Is that genuinely what he believes? If you want to know how the claims are false, here we go. The Nazi kill stream is a panel compo composed of predominantly libs as far as I'm aware. Uh, uh, okay. That's, I think that's, we're going to fact check Jay here. I don't know if that's true. I, I really don't think, I think that they're not just libs. Maybe, maybe most of the people involved are libs, but Mahler and Rags are not libs. Okay. So I think this is a, this is a, this is a dubious claim. Let's continue. I did not set up or even attend the stream that was ref that was referenced. I had no involvement in it. It happened completely without my involvement in any way. Now we can check this. We can check if this is true. Okay? Watch this. We can go right here and we can search EFAP JXE. Okay? This is the one that that JXE was actually on. This had nothing to do with with Hassan. The one that had to do with Hassan, JXE did not attend. This is a nine hour video reacting to Hassan's stream with EFAP and JXE does not appear in this video. At any point, you can hop through, JXE never appears in this video. Now Sargon of Akkad does appear in this video and Sargon of Akkad is kind of a piece of shit. 
Although he appears at the end when they're playing Lego Star Wars and not when they're talking about Hassan. He appears to talk with them during Lego Star Wars. And again, JXE is not in this stream. This is the stream that Hassan was referring to when he said the Killstream Nazi thing. So you can, you can see how tiring this brain mush is becoming. It, it's getting exhausting. But I do what I do because who else is going to do it? I have literally never interacted with Sargon of Akkad. As far as I can tell, this is true. I don't believe Jay is lying about this. Uh, a as far as I can tell, I have found no evidence anywhere on the internet, to the best of my abilities, that, that there have been, has been any engagement between Jay Exe and Sargon of Akkad. Also, his memory doesn't seem to be serving him very well, and coincidentally, everything he misremembers makes him look better and me look worse. It was about five months ago, not a year. I only made one video on him, not two. The first video was just a stream where I was listening to his arguments and responding to them live. I always intended to turn the arguments made in that video, in that stream, into a video. Uh, the video of mine he freebooted was 14 minutes, not five. And these are small mistakes, but it's odd how they all seem to favor the narrative that he's trying to put forward. Everything else I explain uh, in this video. Oh, hey, Vosh. There you go. Bam. Um, so, <laughs> now we get into the, some of the memes that are mostly just like, I don't know, uh, people in engaging. Like, I don't know. Like, look at some of these responses. So, this is somebody who's accusing, uh, who's accusing Jay Exe. Look at this shit. This is fucking wild. So, Hassan has had, has had his explicit lies. She went on multiple streams about me with Nazis like Sargon of Akkad, edited and upload as a video on his main channel. Okay, so this is another thing, by the way. Here's another thing we can fact check. Let's look at this. So it's actually even worse. Not only was there 500, 000, almost 500,000 views on Hassan's Twitch VOD, but there's also hundreds of thousands of views on the video in which he put his rant, his completely false, by the way, we've now verified totally false rant about Jay Exe onto the YouTube channel, has not retracted it as a main video. Like, that's a lot. But also, this gets a little weird. Jay Exe is definitely associated with the alt-right types. Mahler, the cynical drinker, rags, a bunch of other EFAP people are extremely reactionary channels that have content indistinguishable from Sargon or Count Dankula. You can even see her directly appeal to the right-leaning audience she has by having the he as one of the pronouns in her Twitter bio. She knows she'll be misgendered, but instead of fighting that, she goes along with it. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you about that one. That was just a that was just a comment that we found that was like, what the absolute fuck? What the absolute fuck? Um like like there's by the way, the resp the comment responses, you can just go onto any of these videos and see that the comments are unhinged. Just so I mean, we all knew this was going to be the case. Whenever there's a drama mama, the comment sections are going to be unhinged. But they're particularly unhinged in this case. Um, but if you're one of the people responding to this who thinks that the only reason to respond to false Nazi allegations is to chase clout, you're a dumb bitch with dumb bitch disease. And I kind of agree with that. I gotta say, you don't get clout. You don't get clout from somebody calling you a Nazi to 500,000 viewers. That doesn't give you clout. If anything, that makes it really hard for you to get more clout. That makes it really fucking hard. Yeah, it's a fat bump of people calling you a Nazi. This is, this is something I talked about in the past, about how hate views really don't help you, okay? Um, because... My most viewed video on my channel is is the debate that was never posted by Destiny. Okay? That's my mo I think that's to date my most viewed video, which is deeply unfortunate. 
deeply, deeply fucking unfortunate. Okay? And uh, that video has done nothing for my channel except serve as the containment ch video for the most transphobic con comments. And if you don't believe me, go look at the comments on that video. It is the containment thread for every transphobic comment. Like, just hundreds of them. Go look at the comments if you don't believe me. I keep them all up for a reason. So, uh, as, and that has, that video d is, does not do me any favors in the algorithm. As it turns out, a lot of times getting, like, hate responses doesn't help you grow. Like, ever. Especially if it's people saying you're a Nazi. This genuinely feels like Hassan retaliating against someone who dared Chris. We're going to talk about that. Um, and, uh, but I, but I have one more thing I want to do before we move on to the final section of the drama mama, which is, you know, my favorite part where I just give you my raw opinion and don't have to like couch it in receipts anymore because, you know, the fucking giant document of receipts that I, that, that Doe and I put together, but mostly Doe. Uh, yeah. Um, so yes, here is the summary. I want to just go through this. This is the latest. This is from the latest video right here. This is from JXE's latest video. And she brings up her, she s summarizes, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, she summarizes her her argument here and this is the latest one which by the way as far as i know hassan has not actually watched hassan recently had a clip where he said i refuse to watch the video which to me seems particularly bad faith to call somebody a nazi and then refuse to even watch their video on your own time like ah it feels kind of bad i'm not gonna lie but let's listen real quick and hear what the take, what the, the summary of, of, of charges is. And we'll see if it's just for ourselves so that we can all hear whether or not JXE is being reasonable in this situation. Feel free to react to my videos if proper credit is given. However, please don't just let them play as filler, sitting there saying very little and just having lunch or leaving them in the room. Like, come on, man, I'm fine with react content. It just requires a substance or significant reaction to proper credit. Okay, fair. Oh, okay. He's taking it really well. That's totally fine. He makes the most sense. Well, that's nice to see, isn't it? I mean, I understand. Sweet, dude. My man said react harder. Oh. So I have like 30 minutes of Hassan's response to work with in my editing room here. If I was the kind of shady fuck to choose the clips I play with maximum bias, I could make Hassan look like a wonderful saint. I personally don't care. But if others do, then... Dude, yeah, absolutely. I will respect I'm that. One thousand percent. Or I could make him look like the biggest gaping asshole who ever lived. It's such a fucking dingus, dude. Just show their channel, show their channel name, dumbass. How is that so fucking hard? Like, what is this attitude that you have? You stupid fuck. Man, how are both those clips from the same stream? Well, all will be explained. And I feel that I need to start that explanation by giving credit where credit is due. You know, because giving credit is important. As soon as he found out that I didn't really appreciate his non-transformative reaction stream where he played my content, he apologized and made it clear that he wouldn't play any of my videos on his streams again. They have every right to be like, yeah, fuck off, dude. What the fuck are you watching my video? I will never watch uh, their stuff ever again, for the record, if they're if upset they about it. If you don't want me watching your stuff, I will gladly never watch it. I'm really sorry. I apologize. What Hassan seems to have respect for is a YouTuber's right to opt out of something like this. If a content creator makes a fucking YouTube video and they're not happy with me like six months chat watching and I fucking won't watch it. personally I don't care but if other youtubers do care then dude absolutely I'll I just won't watch it I personally I don't care politics frog became okay I, I get upset if they like use it to misrepresent it or anything like that I personally don't care okay but if others do then Dude, absolutely. I will respect that. It's not okay to, uh, you know, play someone else's video if they don't want you to play it. And, I mean, it is good that he has this attitude, but 
ultimately, the phrase bare minimum does spring to mind. Like, yeah, him saying this is better than the alternative, but the alternative would be him going, I don't care how the creator feels, I get to take whoever's content I want, and, and then doing an evil laugh. Saying sorry and promising not to play my videos on his streams anymore, you know, that's cool, but then he does go ahead and follow it up with stuff like this. You get yelled at for pausing and talking too much, then you get yelled at for not reacting hard enough, what are you supposed to do now? I mean, what, what the fuck do you mean? I, I'm literally gonna do exactly what I've been doing, which is whatever the fuck I want to do, bitch. What, what are you talking about? You couldn't really ask for a more explicit declaration that he's not gonna change the way he does things. I am perfectly happy to be in the situation where Hassan's not gonna do this to one of my videos again, but I'm not really here to talk. So, so, oh talk yeah, oh, about yeah, sorry, me. sorry. I'm here to talk about generally the wider issue of React content, and nothing about that has been changed by this apology. Hassan even says that he's used to creators getting annoyed at him for this, and that this is just the standard apology that he issues out whenever that happens. But some content creators get upset about about it and when they do i'm like i'm really sorry and i will never do this again and it's as simple as that it could be argued that the the reason he's happy to just make the same mistake over and over again is that it's more convenient mm. for him to just apologize whenever he's called out than it would be for him to actually stop doing the thing he's apologizing for. He's apologized for upsetting me, but I was never really upset. I just think that what he's doing is piss. What he's not apologized for is what he's doing, which is the actual thing that I took issue with in the first place, and is something that he spends most of his stream arguing in favor of. A lot of the arguments he makes are the arguments we've handily already covered in this video like um i mean this is like not that relevant to be honest yeah i walk away while this video is going on because i'm fucking uh what do you call it i'm cooking and i'm eating and uh they didn't like my uh react they were like react harder their criticism even if it's like react harder is that might be a bullshit criticism but like they're correct if, they, if they're like, I don't want you to react to my videos. And we've already been over the whole react harder thing. We don't need to go over it again. Hassan also seems to subscribe to the streamers need to do this because they're live for however many hours a day argument. He likes this one a lot, actually. It's normal to walk away uh, when you're fucking uh, live for 10 hours. You know what I mean? I like Hassan a lot, year, but it definitely puzzles see. me how zero content like this became so well received. I don't know. Maybe because I'm live for fucking eight hours. You can leave a sign saying gone for a dump back in five or could just give credit where it's due. So now we're going back through some of the clips that we saw earlier. My point there was to show you that this is 45 minutes into the Hassan Piker jinx in the issue of reaction content. And Jay more or less lays out the problems, which was the same, the same consistent critique as the original video from five, six months ago. Which was, hey, uh, please credit me, or at the very least, please actually react to my content instead of just playing it so that you can keep your viewers engaged while you go do something else, because that doesn't seem very fair to me. So, we have now concluded the part of the drama mama where we lay out all of the receipts and what happened. Does everyone feel satisfied in understanding the general timeline and what actually went on? I think I've done my best to not like overindulge in 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 giving off my my takes here. But I want to give my take. I want to give my take on React content. And that's why we always have the second part of Drama Mama, which Drama Mama is where I think, you know, the second part of Drama Mama is where I sit down and I hang out with you chatters. Well, if you're watching the video, obviously you're not in the chat, but whatever. We sit here and we think on the receipts and we come to what conclusions we can. Okay? And, uh... God, there's a lot I want to say. So, first off... First off... Boy, how do I start this? JXE's video was excellent, in my opinion. I think it's very measured, extremely chill, and very fair. The asks are incredibly basic. And I I don't... I mean, I feel like Hassan should know this. Hassan used to work for the Young Turks. He used to work in, uh, you know, opinion journalism. You can't... Like, journalism 
any sort of public facing thing like that, you have to be aware of the rules of accreditation. Accreditation is really important. Um, like giving credit where credit is due is really important. Otherwise, every in every other industry, this would be called plagiarism. Okay, it would be called plagiarism to just take someone else's work, not give any meaning, make no meaningful attempt to give credit and make money off of that work. Now, I recognize that things can get a little loose on streams because they're live format and there's limitations, but we're not just talking about a loose situation. We're talking about Hassan himself has admitted on in the stream we just watched, Hassan admitted that this has happened many times, that multiple people have come to him and been like, hey, you used my video uh, while you were off stream to keep your chat entertained. That feels bad to me because it feels like, especially because I didn't give any credit, get any credit, that you just used my content to make money off of your stream. And I think it's worth diving into this a little bit because I want you to think about something. Uh, I want you to think about something, um, which is how much money comes in on a Hassan stream, okay? Hassan, Hassan has up here, like just, just real quick, just for, just so we're clear on this, let me just, this is an older one. This is his sub, he's at 44,326 sub uh, uh uh subs out of an unknown goal that we can't see but he's gotten so far in this month of streaming uh, presumably 44,000 subs Hassan is making crazy cash off of his long long very very popular streams i mean fucking crazy cash Okay, that's a lot of fucking cash. So, if if the reason that you're able to make so much money is because, um, is because you don't stop streaming at all. You go for ten hours, and any time you need to leave, you're you're keeping your chat entertained with high quality artistic creations like YouTube videos. I, I just got to say, I feel like those people have a right to be frustrated that they don't get a slice of the thousands and thousands of dollars that you're scraping in from the content that is theirs that you're using to keep 25,000 people entertained instead of them going to do other things. I don't think that's an irrational thing. I think it could, it could, you know, if, if Jay had demanded something like give me money or give me revenue sharing, I think that would have been a little bit, a little bit hard to comply with. But all that Jay asked for was credit and to not be used as a waiting room, which I would be frustrated. Um, uh, 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 uh I would be frustrated if somebody just restreamed my stream so that they didn't lose viewers, that would, I don't know, that would be disappointing to me. It would be very frustrating. Some people love being used as a waiting room. Well, maybe, but I don't think that's relevant, okay? A lot of people don't, okay? So there's that. That's my take on the reaction thing. As you know, I fucking love, I fucking love reacting to things. I think, and I love watching react content. In fact, I often watch other streamers react to things and have a great time with it. The thing that I've noticed is that 90% of the streamers who react to something that I, that I enjoy will always give very clear credit and it's not really that hard to do. Watch this. Hey, everybody. Today, we've been talking about JXE's video, Hassan Piker, Jinx, and the issue of reaction content. You can find that video right here. Bam, I've just dropped it in the chat. It's right there. If not, you can search JXE on YouTube. Look at that. That took me 10 seconds. That took me 10 seconds, okay? That wasn't hard. 
And I think that's a better way. I think that's a, I think it's good to at least do that. Yeah, JXE. There you go. Spelling is right there. How convenient. But guess what? I let's be even more charitable to Hassan here. Um let's be even more charitable to Hassan here for just a second. Um Hassan has a huge chat and multiple mods in his chat. His if he couldn't shout out the video, he could at least have his mods do it. So that at least some people would go through and give these people their uh, you know, their 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 uh, you know, deserved attention. Yeah, also don't want to forget to credit um that that channel whoever that is no it's kidding obviously it's hassan uh hassan's channel we've been talking about the hassan drama although i guess we kind of reacted to some of his clips but we didn't really he didn't really make a video on this exactly so it's a little gets a little complicated look none of that matters okay this is where i my brain starts to go to some other things because when i weigh all of this and i think about all the reaction stuff i think jxc's critiques were super measured and super re reasonable and i really don't understand the reaction because again i'm just gonna i'm just gonna kind of play this one more time so that we can wrap it up for the for the video viewers but this was the reaction again this is where we ended up okay? watch their videos ever again and i move on this is what i said one fucking year ago since then, he made a video, or they made a video. Afterwards, they uh, had, like, a bunch of fucking Nazis in the kill stream get together and do an eight-hour reaction to my entire stream. I think it was an eight- or ten-hour fucking podcast that they did on that. Okay? And I apologized back then. And they held on to the grudge. And then they made another video now. Another video a year later. Sargon of Akkad joined multiple eight hour streams. If you expect me to think that that person is charitable at this point, I don't know what to tell you because it's not. You're a fucking psycho if you think that that is a charitable person. No, that is a deranged person. It's a five minute video, which I apologize for. It's incredibly petty. It's incredibly fucking petty. Watch their video. So now, now that we've, we've seen all of the receipts, doesn't this feel like an absolutely, a completely out of step response? Like, drastically out of step. Like, maliciously almost out of step. And I don't want to believe that it's malicious. I really don't. But it feels really malicious. Okay? And... It feels really fucking malicious. And also, just in sheer clout, JXE is almost assuredly getting fucking pounded by Hassan's community in like the worst ways you can imagine. Okay? And this isn't the first time recently that stuff like this has happened with Hassan. Okay? And the reason why I'm keeping this in the second segment and not in the first segment is because this is technically, like, unconnected. But I think it's relevant, and I want to talk about it, and I want to show it anyway, and I want to react to this anyway. So give me just a second here. i got to grab this video. Um, wait, where the hell did it go? Wait, where the hell did it go? One moment, one moment, one moment. Let me grab this. Hey, where the hell did my where the hell did my link go? Ah, here it is. This is the one. All right, this is from this is a this was posted. Here we go. Clips. Uh this is posted by uh Irrational Chad, the producer of Chud Logic. Uh and and this is a this is a bit of a weird clip. And I I just want to warn you in advance. This one gets really spicy, okay? So uh it's really bad, and we're going to talk about it. Just be aware, this, like, it's pretty bad, okay? Like, I think this is, just in advance, I think this is pretty shitty. We're going to watch it, and you'll see what I'm this talking is the fact about. That you so, for context, for context, 
This was Hassan talking to his chat after his, uh, let's say, a debate that wasn't reviewed very well, a conversation that wasn't reviewed very well with uh, an anti-trans conservative, okay? So let's take a listen. My issue as a trans person is the fact that you, a guy that isn't super well-versed on trans shit, brought on a known transphobe knowing he might bring up transphobic shit. You aren't exactly a Vosh at trans debates. Oh! Oh, shit! I hope, I hope that the rest of your life is as horrible as it is every single day, okay? There you go. Suck my dick. I despise you. I despise you more than anything else on the planet. You are fucking cancer, okay? You are cancer in this community, and you're cancer in every community. Suck my dick. My issue as a trans person is the fact that you, a guy that- Now, I I think this actually goes on a bit longer, if I remember correctly. Let's try again. Is the fact that you, a guy that isn't super well-versed on trans shit, brought on a known transphobe knowing every single- You are fucking cancer, okay? You are cancer in this community, and you're cancer in every community. Suck my dick. For the past 15 months, you've been able to fucking hide in these ranks. You cat boy fuck. Move your cat boy ass out of here. You are never welcome. You are never going to be unbanned. No matter how difficult it is, no matter how much you want to get unbanned, I will never unban you. You are now banished into the fucking shadow realm, okay? This notion that I am not fucking uh, uh, at, like, I should not be having transphobes on or ever talk about transphobia or uh, to transphobic people is such a pathetic and stupid fucking argument when Vosh himself has probably said that the debate was fine. Okay? I don't like you. I'm going to yeah, make this I know. very he didn't clear. If you are this type of person... He didn't read the rest of the message, but the message was really nice. It said, I love you, Hassan. I just wish you'd be... More... It was like, I like you, Hassan. I wish you'd be more careful with these types of debates. It was a super chill message that he's freaking out on. Listen... I don't like you. I don't want you to be in here, okay? Or if you're going to be in here, you need to fucking know your place. You need to know your place. Your place is this, okay? It's not this. It's this. You can stay in here and watch, but you're not going to be able to fucking write shit in the ch Trans people, know your place. Chat. Sorry. I would l quite literally rather have someone who is on the margins Keeps going. and is actually interested in learning but might have transphobic points of view rather than someone who's like, mm, I'm a cat boy. I've been in here for 50 months. And I think like, you know, you're not that good at debate. So you shouldn't have a transphobic person on like, no, fuck off. Like literally I would, I would rather have a million people that are willing to fucking learn and are actually here much like the rest of normal society that have been like socially conditioned into feeling the ways that they do than any number of like super woke, super fucking leftist uh, uh, debate lords, straight up. What? I've done more debates than you. I'm better at debates than you. I'm better at debates than most of the other people that you fucking compare me to because debates are still pure rhetoric, okay? That's it. Anyway. Hmm. Oh, by the way, mods, uh, clap that person that is definitely in the Discord too. If they're crying in the Discord right now, 100% clap that person's ass cheeks. It just keeps getting worse, doesn't it? I feel like this is exposing how performative liberalism is for a lot of people. So many liberals constantly call for people to change and challenge conservatives in dialogue about human rights issues, but now you're here doing it. The same people are mad you're challenging said conservative people. Look. That's because people have very specific types of content, right? Like, they want to do, they want to do, like, peer-reviewed studies that you need to put up, like. And that's what that person likes. I banned them last night, lol. Oh. Great. Hmm. Catboy fucks, know your place. Your place is to shut up and watch. Shut up and watch. Now, 
part of me wants to be very mean here to Hassan. For example, I could joke about how he's functionally telling people to shut up and watch an empty chair while he goes and jacks off in the bathroom or cooks a meal for himself. I could say that. I could say that it's kind of ironic that he would ask for respect and credit after being literally unwilling to shout out even the name of the people who create videos. I could be really, really mean and say that his mustache makes him look like a, a the, 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 the pedophile villain of a 1970s action film. But all of those things would probably be a little bit rude. And I think I would unironically, like, just jokes aside, uh, I want to try and be as charitable as possible because I was very charitable to, uh, um, to JXE. And so I'm going to summon up all of my, of my charitability here and do my best. Okay. Which is to say, bro, Hassan, real talk, fucking apologize First of all, apologize to the cowboy. That cowboy did not deserve that fucking shit. But more so, I think more importantly, you really owe JXE an apology. Like, straight up. And I mean that. You owe JXE an apology. You lied, like, fractally on, like, six different levels. You were incorrect or lied. And now, I don't know if it was intentional, but you told lots of untruths to thousands no i'm sorry hundreds of thousands of people have seen that video and have seen you saying that jxe organized a nazi podcast to target you that is really shitty okay and i understand completely the the stress of content creation because I, and i know that i'm a relatively small channel i can't even imagine the scope of of like the critiques that people like you uh larger content creators like you or critical or vosh get um that's a, like the, the scale is much larger but i spent the last year um having a deranged community go after me so i understand how dementing it can be i understand how it can make you extremely angry and it can put you in a position where the only way to like enjoy your time on the internet is to be defensive but there are still lines okay i understand all of that I also know there's a good chance you'll probably never see this, but there but there are a lot of Hassan there are a lot of Hassan frogs in my audience. And maybe it's possible that this section will get clipped and sent to you. So if it does, I really, really genuinely I I know I was goofing around a bit, but seriously, you owe JXE an apology. JXE was super, super chill in the critiques and and you kind of fucking flip the sh flip the shit on her. And I, I really think that sucks. It really sucks to call, to, to use your gigantic platform to call a trans person a Nazi, to call them deranged, a uh, psycho, when actually Jay's video was really chill. Jay's video on you was high quality, funny, and measured. Yes, did Jay poke some fun at you? Yeah, Jay poked a little bit of fun at you. You kind of deserved it. You stood up and walked away and played Jay's video without giving any credit. I think you kind of deserved at least a little bit of ribbing for that. And also, just so we're clear, in the video, in JXE's video, she proves that you didn't actually give a huge bump. That if you, if you could, if you give credit, you could create a huge bump, which would be awesome because other creators could grow, that would be really powerful, but you didn't. Your videos, your reactions, actually didn't result in a big bump for her channel, and other people are saying the same thing to you. You've had other people say the same thing. And your reaction was to make a lot of false allegations and claims about JXE. So, again, no, there's... 
very low chance you're actually going to see this from the humble Demon Mama, the first demon type streamer, demonmama.com forward slash live. But honestly, fucking take down that goddamn video, issue an apology. It doesn't cost much to issue a small apology and, and fix what was wrong because that's really fucking unfair. That's just unfair. And I did this whole video here outlining all the stuff so that people can watch this and know for sure that indeed I am not lying when I say that's fucking unfair. What you did to JXE was indeed fucked up. You done goofed. You fucked up. And you should make it right. Otherwise, well, a lot of people are going to think you're kind of a piece of shit. And they'd be right to conclude that. If you, you know, accuse trans people of being Nazis. Yeah. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. I mean, or you could triple down. That's the alternative move. 